Now, before we get too far along in the programming process, it might be a benefit to bring in a fixture to hold this part and to also model the machine that's going to measure this part. Now, this is going to offer us several advantages. The first obvious advantage is if we have the fixture, then we can program moves that move around any of the clamps in our fixture. This will avoid any collisions in our part program. The second advantage is if PCDMIS knows how the part is sitting in the measuring volume, there's a tool that will allow us to automatically calculate the wrist angles. In older versions of PCDMIS, we had to use the setup dialog and change this dialog manually, and it was a bit cumbersome. So I'm going to show you a way of doing this automatically. Let's build our fixture first. To build a fixture, we're going to select Insert, Hardware Definition, Quick Fixture. And this displays a dialog. And in this dialog, we basically have two options. We can build a fixture based on components that are stored inside the PCDMIS database. Or if we select the Browse icon, we can browse to an IGES or STEP file that represents our fixture. Now, I don't have a model that represents this particular fixture, so I'm going to have to build one using some of these R&R &R components that are built into the software. So I'm going to select R&R, &R, and I'm going to choose a base plate. I'll hit the Insert button, and that inserts the base plate into our CAD window. Now I'm going to use some standoffs. And finally, I'm going to choose some tensioning clamps. And I'll select OK to exit from this dialog. Now, what we can see on the screen is all those components piled on top of one another. So what we need to do is place these components and then place the part on top of our assembled fixture. I'm going to do that by changing to the top view first. And I'm going to change to quick fixture mode inside of the graphics modes toolbar. And when I do that, I can just select all of our components and place them where I wish. And I normally start off by moving them to one side of our fixture plate. The next thing that I'm going to do is go to the side view and get our standoffs at the correct height. With our standoffs now placed at the correct height, we can adjust the height of our part. And I'm just going to drag it up so it sits on top of the standoffs. If we want more precise movements, if you right mouse button click on any of the components, a context menu appears, and I have choices like X move only, Y move only, Z move only, um, and then some rotation options as well. Let's go back into the top view. We'll move our part towards the top of the fixture. And we'll place these standoffs in appropriate positions to hold this part. I can now go ahead and place the part on top of the standoffs and then fine tune any of the positions of my standoffs. The last thing I'm going to do is place my clamps. If you hold down the Control Alt keys on your keyboard and use the right mouse button, you're able to rotate features as well. I'm going to rotate these two clamps 90 degrees, and now I'm going to use my left mouse button and drag them into position. I'll go to the side view and I'll drag these clamps up in height so they're resting on top of the part. When I have everything in place, I can right mouse button click on any of the attributes and I can select Link Fixture Components and I can also select Fix Component in Place. The other thing that I want to do if I've taken the time to build a fixture is I want to right mouse button click and select Save Fixture. 
and I can give it a name and add it to the database of fixtures that PCDMS has access to. The next time I wish to use this fixture, I can simply select Insert Hardware Definition Quick Fixture, and now I have a new entry labeled User. And under the User label is my saved test fixture. <music>